Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. This morning, DJI announced a brand new addition to their Phantom 4 series of drones at their Airworks conference in Las Vegas. The new model is called the Phantom 4 Multispectral, and it's designed specifically to help farmers and other land management professionals do their job a little bit better from a couple hundred feet in the air. Now, before I get too deep into the specifics of what this drone provides, I know a lot of my viewers are either hobbyists or Part 107 flyers, and you may already be thinking to yourself, Rick, why are you wasting time talking about a specialized commercial drone that I'll never fly? Well, there's a few reasons, and I'll get into those in specifics in the end, but just out of the gate, let me say that, number one, I'm a fan that they're still producing the Phantom 4 frame, because I really like this fixed airframe, and I think that they've got a lot of possibilities for improving what a fixed frame product like this can do. I've talked a little bit about the Phantom 5 and what I think they they could build into that, maybe removable payloads and a few other cool features. So it's a good thing they're still manufacturing that. Maybe that bodes well for everybody out there waiting for the Phantom 4 Pro V2 to come back. So that's a good thing, number one. Number two, these advanced features that are built into this brand new product tend to be expensive because they're exotic right now. They're in the commercial market space. They're very specific and they're fairly exotic. So they're going to be expensive. They're only going to be available to people that need to use that drone commercially. But over time, as you manufacture more of that, the technology becomes cheaper. You're selling more of them, you've figured out ways to make it a little more efficiently, and eventually that technology migrates its way down into less expensive drones, which are the ones that we're flying. So I think both of those things are really good. They're dynamic market forces that I think are helpful for hobbyists and Part 107 flyers. All right, let's get into the drone. So there are two major innovations this drone provides that I think are gonna really change the game for farmers and land management professionals. And again, to make their job so much easier to help them with things like pest control and irrigation and, and things like uh, pest decides and all the rest of the things that farmers have to worry about. And if you're a land management professional, you're looking at things like erosion, how much water uh, gets into a field, and are there, are there pollutants coming through, and is temperature changing, all those kind of things. And this drone really does a good job of helping with both of those type of activities out in the field. All right, so the first major innovation this drone presents, and it's been on drones before from DJI, is what's called an RTK receiver. Now, if you don't know what that is, that's an acronym for the term real-time kinematics. But essentially what that means is most of the drones you're flying today from DJI AI are based on GLONASS or they're based on GPS for their positioning, which is roughly accurate, which means in a couple of feet, it's going to keep it in that area so it knows where it is in a three-dimensional geospatial environment. So in 3D space, it kind of knows where it is based on GPS. What RTK brings to the table is to actually bring that down to an accuracy of about one centimeter. Now think about that, that's super important if you put a drone up 300 feet in the air and you're looking down at a field of crops because if you're gonna put pesticides or watering, irrigation type things down there and you see a spot that's dry, you wanna make sure you put it exactly where that dry spot is and not just spread it across the whole field. So RTK gives that pinpoint accuracy that allows you to know exactly where the bugs are, where the dry spots are, where there's too much water, and it does that really well. Now you can improve that even further through the use of the D-RTK2 mobile base station, which is an enhancement to RTK, which makes it even more accurate for the people that need that type of you know, pinpoint accuracy in the field. But just the drone by itself does a phenomenally accurate job of staying above exactly where it needs to be to tell you where the spots are that need attention. So the first thing is the RTK receiver. Now I said they've done that before in other Phantom models. There was a Phantom 4 RTK that came out a while ago, which is really good for bridge inspections and things like that, because if you want to identify where there's a fragile part of an infrastructure, no one exactly down to the centimeter of where that crack might be or the cement may be compromised is super important. This takes it to the next level because you can use that ground station with it as well. The second big innovation is the camera. And the camera itself is really unique. And I've got to spend some time studying this because at first glance, this thing looks like a major upgrade for cameras. It essentially has six lenses on there, one of which is an RGB camera. So a standard camera you'd use on all the drones that we see today. It's got a mechanical shutter, which is really nice. And there are an additional five sensors on the camera that handle all kinds of other sensing in the spectral range. So it's gonna look at things like infrared, near red, a bunch of different spectrums. Because when you think about it, visible light is important. You get a lot of really good information from looking at something in visible light, but there's all kinds of frequencies below visible light in the infrared range and the near red range that tell you things about temperature, liquidity, you know, water, irrigation, things like that. So when you look at those two side by side, you can see the one that shows you the RGB, which is pretty much what you see normally when you look through a camera on a drone. But the one to the right 
is sort of a thermal image that gives you a lot more information about that field. So you can see pretty quickly, looking at that second image on the right, that you've got dry spots in the field. Maybe you're looking for certain frequencies that indicate insects or pesticides, things along those lines, which gives you really good information. So that camera, to me, looks incredibly cool. And I can't wait to try and beg one of these away from DJI to test this thing out in the market. But that camera, again, is a big innovation going forward. Now, the third thing you're getting with this is a brand new version of software. It's been out for a little while, but it's specifically tuned for this particular drone. And it's called the DJI uh, Ground Station Pro, which is the new version of their commercial drone software, which allows you to plot out how much of the field you want to sort of look at. You can draw circles around or perimeters around it, and it'll actually fly a pattern to cover all that field. And what's nice about it is you can save that pattern, because if you're a farmer and you want to go out on a Monday and you check the field and you find dry spots and you irrigate it, you want to go back out on a Wednesday and make sure the irrigation took place and that that dry spot isn't still there. So you can save the maps, you can refly the maps, you can draw really nice uh, diagrams of the crops as they're growing so you can study you know, how the fertilizers are working, how your pest control is working, all the things farmers care about. And in old days, which I, I live in a farming community, so I'm surrounded by cornfields and all kinds of vegetables and things, which I love, but in the old days, the farmers would have to walk those fields. They'd have to drive through those fields and visually inspect for insects and water problems, irrigation issues. Now by putting a drone up, they can sit you know, in their, in their car and basically fly that thing over the field and get really detailed information of exactly what's going on in the ground. So I think this is a major innovation that's beneficial to the farmers because number one, it's going to lower their cost for crops. It's going to improve their efficiency on growing crops, which means they're going to have higher yields. So all this stuff is really good. And again, I keep going back to DJI sort of pivoting between hobbyists and commercial space. I know a lot of people are thinking, oh, they're diving into the commercial space in a big way. I champion that. I think that's a wonderful thing because as much fun as it is for me to fly a drone like this, if you can take a drone like this and put it in the hands of a land management professional or a farmer or first responders even more so and amplify their ability to do their jobs to make it simpler, a little safer, maybe much more efficient. That's a home run for all of us because hopefully that's going to produce more crops if you're a farmer, which lowers the price of crops so we get a better deal on, on buying tomatoes or corn or whatever it happens to be. If you're a land management professional, maybe you'll know exactly where that next flood's going to take place. Or if you're a first responder, my gosh, just think of the stuff you can do with that, putting it up and finding that kid that's lost in the woods. Or if you're a fireman, and knowing if you should go into the burning building because there are people inside there. So the commercial side of DJI really, really interests me. As much as I love flying them as a hobbyist, I really appreciate what they're doing on the commercial side. And this is just another great tool for farmers and again, land management professionals to use out in the field. All right, so I said at the beginning, I wanted to talk a little bit about the benefits for hobbyists. I kind of mentioned the two big bang things there, right? Number one, the fact that they're still manufacturing the Phantom 4 frame means that we may actually see a Phantom 5. If not, maybe we'll see other platforms that come out for the Phantom 4. If DJI is listening, the one thing I think you could kill with is if you came out with this airframe with a removable payload. Just imagine hobbyists buying that as a basic drone and being able to upgrade down the road with a 360 camera, a FLIR camera, a multi-spectral camera like you've got on this drone. And maybe I wouldn't buy all of them, but there are certain ones I would buy. So for you as DJI, that's an annuity that you can actually continue to sell me products to bolt onto the frame. If you take it beyond that and start adding other cool features to it, I've got a few suggestions in case you're interested, but I love this fixed frame for certain environments. I, I fly my Mavics, I fly my Mavics, Mavic Pros and my Mavic 2s and all the rest of the foldable drones, but this airframe has got a ton of possibilities and I love the fact that they're still manufacturing. The second part, that multi-spectral camera, building that as a one-off tends to be very expensive and they're probably going to sell a couple of thousands of these quads. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe it'll be tens of thousands, hopefully, but if they sell a thousand of them, it's hard to make that price reasonable because it's kind of a custom product. But if they can figure out a way to make it smaller and give me a consumer drone that's reasonably priced, not something commercial, but something consumer grade that has thermal capabilities, that's a home run for me as well. Because I'm out in the woods a lot flying and it starts to get a little bit darker. I'd love to know where the deer is, where the squirrel is, maybe where a kid's lost in a neighborhood and I can help search for him. I think that's a home run for all of us. So I think those two features are critical. The other thing I got to say is that they're a financially dependent company, just like any big company, right? They've got to make a profit, keep their, their CTO office happy and keep all their C-level exec happy. The way they do that is to split their their income between commercial and hobbyists. So the more they make on the commercial side, that gives them more money to reinvest in engineering and development and all the important things they need to make the hobbyists and the Part 107 flyers quads even better. So let them make money in the commercial space. They'll take some of that, put it into R&D and build even cooler drones for us in the hobbyist space. All three of those things I think are happening when they release a drone like this. So I didn't spend a lot of time going through a lot of these bloody details of exactly what this thing's about. I probably will do a clip to break it down a little further, especially in that camera, that multi-spectral camera 
camera looks astoundingly cool. So I'll spend some time talking about that. But I wanted to get a quick clip up because I know it was announced this morning. I've gotten a lot of emails from you already asking, like, what's this thing all about? Is it available for hobbyists or is it only commercial? It's only commercial. It's real expensive for hobbies to look at. But if you're a farmer, this is a really inexpensive tool for you to put up and really have a major impact on how your crops are growing and your efficiency. So I think in that market, it makes a whole lot of sense. And that's all I had for today. So thanks an awful lot for watching. Again, sorry about the clip pace here, but I wanted to get it up quickly. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching the channel. As I say every time, if I'm putting clips together, you're finding value and I'll continue to do it. And it seems like we are. So if you have suggestions on how we can change the clips or if you want us to copy other things or cover other things, let me know. We'll do our best to get that stuff up on the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button down there we've got a lot more stuff coming that you're definitely going to want to watch and if you're flying the phantom 4 you guys know we have a website i got a ton of accessories for the phantom 4 available today with blades and batteries and cables and i actually got a big list of chargers that just came in so if you're looking for a, a three-in-one or four-in-one charger to charge your quad or a car charger we've got those as well so anyway that's it for today thanks an awful lot for watching and until next time happy flying mm -hmm.